Hello, this is Bonnie, and today we're going to use some older um, stamps from Fairy Hugs, and um, something a little bit different for me, but not totally. I've done some of this before, but we're going to do some stamping. We are going to do some, I don't know, spraying and make it more of a watercolor look. So let's get started. Okay, so I have this, and um, this is actually, I didn't even tell you, that I'm using um, fairy flower and I'm using ivy seaweed. And um, basically, um, I am stamping on a five and a half, by, um, five and a half paper um, square. And I am going to be using Distress Oxide to start. And, um, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to use my Distress Ink. And this is um, picked raspberry. And the reason I'm using this is because it's smaller and I can ink up specific areas here that I want. And hopefully I'm getting enough ink on here. If not, I'm going to go to the Distress Oxide because I don't see a lot of ink on here, but we'll see. Okay, I'm really trying not to get the stem. I just want really the bloom right now. So let's see what we can get. So I'm gonna spray that up with the um, Distress Sprayer. Just that area, and we'll give it a stamp. And I, I don't want it to be um, a defined stamp. I just want it to look watercolor. Yeah, I can see I could have gotten a little bit more ink down there. I just might try that. But that's the look that I'm going for. Make sure I get this one. But I am getting a little bit of the stem, but that's okay for what I want to do. All right, so I'm just getting that little bit that I didn't get right here at the bottom. I might have put too much water on there. We'll see. There we go. That's the look that I wanted totally. So that's good. I need to let that dry. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is um, pull out the, and I don't need to put this right back on. I can, it can be off center. So I'm okay with that too. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is get the Ivy Seaweed. And I wanna do the same thing, similar thing. But I'm gonna have this kind of like down here at the bottom, but I want to keep this kind of like within a circle-ish look. So in order to put this on, I'm gonna probably have to do some um, washi tape down here at the bottom. So I think that's the plan, but I do wanna see how this stem is gonna to go to this side. Oops. Because I want to put this just to the side of this, like that. So that's the plan. And for this one, I am going to use peeled paint. And then once I get these on here, I'm gonna let it dry off. Now, I did not have this one in the um, Distress Ink. I only have this one in the Distress Oxide, so I have to go this route. So I sprayed that one again, and I'm just gonna and it's right, I meant to put a little bit of the, you know what, I'm just gonna use my paper. See how that works. I think that's gonna work. Just putting a little bit of my paper there. Okay, that's good. And I wanna put another one, so just a minute here. See how that's gonna be. I'll put a couple more. This one's wet, so I'm gonna dry that off just a little bit so it doesn't give me too much of an impression right away. And I'm gonna grab that paper. It's kinda of like I need three hands. Hmm. All right, so that's gonna be like that. And then I'm gonna have one here also. Okay. So I'm gonna move that out of the way and put this down here. And that's gonna work. 
It's just, I kind of like want to go with a um, circle-ish, and it might not end up being a circle, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it like that, put that back over here. I'm gonna have to probably, I. Okay. All right. It was sticking because it was wet. All righty. Try that again. And give that a little spray. And set that down there. Okay. That's what I want. You're going to say, oh, this looks crazy. But no, no, no. As soon as it dries, I'll show you the next step. But that looks, that's going to be exactly what I want. All right, I thought while it was still wet, I could do the stem. So I've got this set on here. So I'm just going to try to get that stem down there coming of the green. I Like I said, I really wish I had the Distress Oxide or the ink um, for the stem, but I do not have that smaller. I do not have the smaller one. I wish I did. We'll get that as best we can. Just kind of painting that on with the corner of my ink there. And then I'm going to wipe back that little bit that got on. And that should be good. And give that a little spray. All right, and I've got this set so I know I don't go beyond that. Let's see how that worked. Yeah, want just a little bit more right there. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more ink. I want a little bit more ink right there. And I think that's just below or just next to that petal. There we go, I got that. Wipe that off. Okay. Here we go. That's what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and um, we'll finish up. Okay, so the, it is all dry now and I think what I'm gonna do, I kinda like changed my plan, what I want to do. I wanna use a Distressed Ink Walnut Stain because I just want the center of this to have more of a, I think we call the flowers, uh, cone flowers. So I'm just gonna try to do as much as I can with the corner of this just to get the center of this cone and a little bit of the pieces that are coming up from it. See how we can do with that. Um, I'm not going to spray it a lot, but I'm going to spray it one little fine mist because I don't want it completely structured. But I want a little bit, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more. I actually like how that is coming out into, into here too, so I think I'm gonna go a little bit outside of that. I like it. Gives it a little bit more of a, a shadow, shading. Okay. Just a fine mist. Either like two. Yep. Okay. So that's giving me a little bit of that. Um, I this is not smoothing out like I would like it to, and I think that's just because it needs just a little bit more water on there. So I'm gonna just give a little bit of water and see if that will. Make that move just a bit. Yeah, that I like that better. Okay, so that's probably going to need to dry too, um, but that's okay because we can. I have a plan that I can work on the bottom part of this really quickly. And what I want to do is add some watercolor of the green down here. And in order to do that, I need to get the peeled paint on this mat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mat on this side so you can still see what I'm doing. 
And I am going to just put some of the peeled paint on here. And I'm going to use that as my um, palette, if you want to call it that, with a paintbrush. And the paintbrush that I want is not sitting right here. I need to grab a different... Oh, this one. Well, no, that's not going to work. So let me get my paintbrush, and I'll be right back. All right, I wanted ones that were more watercolor um, oriented with and not the flat end, which is what I had over here. So I'm going to um, mist this up a little bit, and I'm going to mist down here. I want it wet so it would be a little bit more fluid when I put this on. So we're going to use the larger one and see how we go. Yeah. So this is making it, you know, like the watercolor, which is what I wanted. It's probably also activating a little bit of what I already had on too. So that's like what I wanted to have down here. And a little bit more water. Make that blend up a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna come over here to the side a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna let that part of it dry and I am gonna come back in here and get, see if I can spread that just a little bit, the brown. I'm just going to use water and my paintbrush. Let's see if we can get that to do a little bit of spreading. I might not be able to. But it definitely is doing what's underneath really well. Not so much the brown on top, but that's okay. I'm just trying to give that a lot of water just so that it might bleed out just a little bit for me. Right now I don't see a lot of bleeding on the brown, but we'll see. Once it dries, it might have moved a little. All right, so to balance that out for me, which is what I want, is I'm gonna pick up some of the picked, picked strap, uh, raspberry, I was gonna say strawberry, and put that on my mat and spray it and use that as my watercolor and try to um, come back in here in some of these places to um, make it a little bit darker. So it's like coloring with your Copics except for you're using watercolor. So I'm trying to get the shading part of that and also try to blend into that brown a little bit. But I'm just using that outline. And I think I'm also gonna come in with the uh, Distress Oxide, the Walnut Stain, instead of the ink, to blend that out even more. I don't want that harsh line in there as much, so I'm going to put a little bit of that on my mat. And I'm going to use the watered dam by spraying it and see if I can get that also to blend out. Yeah, that's better. That's what I needed. And 
I can always pick up a little bit of that too. There. Just add a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go back to that pink and add the pink there so that it kind of blends. And then I'm going to have to let this dry. But I think even before I do that, I am going to do some splatters. So I'm adding a lot more um, to the um, walnut stain. And then I'm just going to come over here. And one of the things I learned, I'm going to see if this works. Someone used an acrylic block. They put some of this on the you know, acrylic block and they swished it on. And I really like that. I thought, well, that will work. Because I usually have a problem doing some splatters. And this is exactly the type of, so I'm putting that on here and then I'm just swishing that off onto that and getting my splatters. I really like that. Because I've had issues with just tapping but this swiping works really well. All right, so now we're gonna let that dry and we'll continue. Okay, so I decided to add Moana um, and um, the tiniest bunny in the bunny set to um, the rest of this. And I think this will work. And I'm gonna be using Versafine Clear Pine Cone. This is still slightly damp, so I hope I'm not making a really big mistake at adding this. So. But I'm using, um, I decided to use the, the brown because I thought it would probably not be as harsh as the black um, because I haven't used any black on here. And I'm not really sure even if this is gonna be the right color. If I should have gone with gray. But we'll see. Because I could always add a little bit of dark with my pencils if I need to tie that in. Because I know pine cone, yeah, is a dark brown, but I didn't want the reddish brown so much on here either. She needs a little bit more ink. good okay so like I said I hope I'm not making a really big mistake this is slightly damp but not really bad for the little bunny and I know he's the type that shouldn't be stamped more than once because his lines are a little bit smaller And get that to work. There we go. You can see him really well. That worked out. Okay, just wanted to show you really close how well he turned out on there. So you can see the little his little fur lines and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I have completed the card, and what I did is I um, went ahead and I colored in um, Moana's um, wings, and I added some um, hologram um, acrylic paint to them, and I also did a gold gel pen. 
And then I added a little bit of the sparkle, see if you can see it, to the flower as well. I think you can see it a little bit and some of the gold, there we go. And some of the gold gel pen. And then I also added the sentiment, and this one's called A Long Way, um, again, from Fairy Hug Stamps. So that completes the card. And I will have the information in the description uh, below. Thanks so much for stopping by.